request from um, all my friends out there and YouTubers and I want to thank you so much um, for following me and again like I said I don't do it constantly but I do my best to try to keep up you know the videos up to date and the background of course is my cat Ming it's uh, my new little mascot I've gotten to keep me busy and feel a little bit more love <laughs> around the place since I'm here alone um, moving forward I got um, some requests on to try to do um, another video um, uh, and this one's actually coming from um, Albert uh, from Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Hi, Albert. How are you doing? He's actually one of my best followers ever uh, because I actually work with him. <laughs> and he texts me. And together with my other follower, her name is Marlene. Uh, we still work together. Hi, Marlene. <laughs> so um, why don't I do a video on um, dilation? <laughs> I'm like, you know, that's funny. I have never done a video on dilation. Uh, but moving forward um, I will be posting um, because I'm trying to be a little bit more open you know these are kind of like private things I think I tell everybody this is a personal uh, thing if they want to speak about it if they want to do it it's totally up to them you don't have to do it because you're actually sharing you know, your personal information you know your personal things that you're actually uh, keeping the journey of some people want to keep it personal some people want to be open about it I love keeping it open because um, it can be very useful for other transgenders to open up in the world and um, it's, it's very useful. Uh, this follower of mine, his name is Albert, uh, we work together and I've never told him before actually that I was a transgender and as time went by um, he started to discover that actually I was transgender so um, surprise. <laughs> so anyway moving forward um, uh, oh, so morning as she asked me about um, doing uh, videos like this so I can open up to the world and tell them a little bit more about myself and I don't like to keep things like kind of secret because sooner or later you're gonna go you know you're either you're you go you die whatever but um, at least I know that these videos will be very useful uh, for educational purposes only uh, this is not for like panographic kind of thing this is just you know to help the community and other transgenders to open up in the world um how we are some some transgenders are very close and some very open um i like to be very open you know with things that happen to me so you can know a bit more and you can use that also for your future reference um so i had had um two years ago already um a vaginoplasty and it took a while for me to open up you know and discover more so as my journey went by i started to see other videos and notice other people being more open so i figured well why not i can do my own video as well and show them a little bit of the process of how it's done so my regular class was done two years ago and um, the first couple of months it was very painful of course it's not something that just happens overnight um so you know you do have to be dilating like two to three times a day for the whole year and then after the year that passes um, let me take out the instruments as I'm talking with you guys. Um, as uh, as the years go by, you graduate pretty much towards like the next level. Um, so meaning that you don't have to do it constantly. Uh, when you after the one year, then you can do it like twice to once a week. It depends. I don't know how you would do that with your, uh, your physician. They would tell you whatever. But I do it the way I feel comfortable because this is my vaginoplasty. It isn't anyone's. This is yours. So I am taking care of this as much as I can because this is very private. This was very expensive. It was not cheap. <laughs> so what I have here is wipes. Um, you do want to use wipes. You know when you're actually doing the process. You do want to have also um, the instrument that comes with it, uh, which is the gel. Uh, the doctors gave me this. It's, it's the first pack that they gave you. I haven't used it because the first thing I've done, I've been using regular gel. So, but you know, the gel comes like this, pretty much from you know the uh, the package, and then you know um, this little tool being where you actually put it in there and then you just like pump it up, <laughs> you know, the gel. So that's one thing. And then these are the basics. This is one of them. Uh, I don't know if I can probably put them here. This is one of them. Uh, these are one of the uh, dilators uh, that they give you. Uh, this is actually the last one. It has the width and the height. And then it has the little balls. So as you insert it, you know, you go first to the first depth feel, which is the, uh, the first one. And then as you move it closer, you know, you're actually holding it. It has a grip in the back. And then, you know, you move it in slowly into the second level. And then third and then fourth, if you can do it with this one because this is like the biggest one um and then the fifth one 
So um, I'm pretty much in between the fourth and the fifth because I've been doing this for almost like past two years. So it's been working very well for me. Um, so this is the last one. I, I know you should start with the first one, but then again, then this is the, the, the third one. Uh, you know, the diameter changes a little bit. It's the same height, but the width is totally different. And as you can see, and then this is the second one. Again, it has a little grip here, uh, here. So when you grab it, it has its little fingers, and then you can just as like a little curve, you know, like the G spot, uh, you know. And then it has the levels again for one, two, three, four, five. And the next one will be the final. It's almost about the same as that one. It's just a starter kit, pretty much, as you can see. It's, it's a ceramic. These are all ceramics. They're not plastic or not like that out of the other materials. Um, this is the one that they give you in the doctor's office, you know, when you finish your surgery. The nurse comes in and she gives you a little prep talk about how it goes and how you are to, there you go, uh, how, you, how you are to be using it and doing it. So, and then you get your gel, okay? And then you wipes and you always want to have a towel, you know, underneath you. And you wipes in the side and then you gel. So, I will explain as I'm um, doing my process, you know, you first want to lubricate first. You know, first, you lay it in bed. Make sure you have no animals around you, around the area, because it's going to be very private, it has to be very clean, and keep them away from uh, these uh, items, and then from there, um, you lay down the towel, and then you lay the wipes inside, and then you gel, and then as you're laying down, you use the gel, you put a little bit on that, and then you use the one that you're going to go in first, you know, so if you already started with this one, you don't basically need the other blue one, because it's almost about the same diameter, and then after you do that, you know, you lubricate it, and then you insert it. And then after the process of 15, 20 minutes, I don't take it out right away. I move on to the next one and I hold it. And then I lubricate it. And after I lubricate it, and then I swap. And then I'll put that one in and I take out, uh, I take that one out and then I, you know, just swap. And then I, I'm able to clean it with the wipes. So it's easy for me. And then once that one that's, when this one's already inside, uh, I'm already, uh, okay. So. I'm already wiping down the other one and I put it to the side so that when I'm already finished, I'm able to sanitize, you know, the whole thing and clean it off with nice hot, 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 hot water to take everything off. And then the one, once that's all done and completed, and then you go to the CR, which is the comfort room, like I'm going to go now. And because um, I already finished my process, I forgot to make the video at first at the beginning. Um, I have my, my cat, he must have gone in front of the camera, but I'm actually recording. I'm about to close up, so just give me a few minutes, okay? And then so once you're finished, you use uh, the douche you know that they, that you can get from the pharmacy and then you put hot water a little bit if you want and then you just you douche yourself and then everything that you put inside with, which was with the gel it should all come out um you know all come out and then do it a couple of times with the hot water and then once you're done uh you are finished and that's how your process is done and then you know then again you wait until the next following uh, week what i do is I, I mark it down the calendar you know when i'm finished okay i done friday or done the end of the week saturday and then from there and that's it so the process um basically takes about um 15 to 20 minutes or so it depends on people like 10 minutes because it's very painful for them but uh since i want to make sure i don't want to be coming back again so i extend a little bit more to make sure that the openings is, it's already open so the next time it's easier for it to go back inside so that's basically what i do so that is my dilation uh, prep and now I'm gonna carry on and then once I'm done you'll be able to see the finishing hello it's me <laughs> I know you see something but I'm actually doing my dilation now so because the one in the middle like I don't know if you can see the purple one it's almost the same as the one as this one here <laughs> and so um, I have to hold this one inside so I can stay there for at least about 15 to 20 minutes um, this is what I have to go through uh, I do this like once a week I can actually hold it in like this, or I can just close my legs tight for others. Remember, it's only just for educational purposes. And you hold it tight for 15 minutes, you can have a timer for whatever you want. And again, like I said, you know, uh, you first lubricate it, lubricate yourself and all that. And then this is one of the sizes, it's like first first size that you have. You have your dots to where you actually have to reach. Pretty much you don't have to put it all the way, you know, just make sure that you at least you cover the first and second, third. And then the fourth and fifth is optional if you want to go deeper, depends, you know, how uh, bigger it is. But the doctor always suggests that you go as far as possible so the opening stays open it's like an earring you know if you close it then it's closed if you try to reopen it's gonna be hard so it's better for you to just have all the dots filled and then hold it in place you know so right now um just about between the fourth and the fifth in between there um you know i try not to go that deep because i don't want to hurt myself so once i do that um just take it out and actually what i do is uh so i don't have a gap in between i take out the other one and i lubricate it and then i swap 
and then as I take out the other one, I insert the other one, you know, uh, very slowly, and then I take out the other one out, and then after I do that, I close it like I do this one, and then I clean it with the wipes, as you can see there. Um, I'm actually, this is <laughs> heavy by see, I'm barricaded here in my loft up here. I can see. So what I've done because it's cold outside, um, I cover this with cardboard and the mat all the way around, so all the uh, the heat stays in because it's really cold, you know. So then again, you know, when I'm done, and then you know, I show you. But like I said, this is only for educational purposes. This is not to be bad girl, not like that. I am a transgender. So these are the kind of things that we have to do for life. You know, when you have a vaginoplasty, the doctor does tell you, you know, you, you have to do it three to four times uh, a week. Uh, it depends, you know, um, if you already have, if you already one year, you can go uh, twice a week. It depends, you know, with your surgeon. But because this is already my second year, so I, I do uh, once a week, and you know, make sure I keep it in there. So the opening uh, stays, you know, open. So you know, it's actually better. And then it's the other side. So as you can see, you know, um, uh, everything moved to the next side is actually bigger. So as you can see, um, these are the dots, you know, that you have to fill up. You know, as you go in deeper, you know, you reach a certain level. Some people can even reach up to here because it's like so huge. But then again, this is the opening. And this is the way it looks. So um, once I reach this one. Pretty much away for 15 20 minutes and then i swap I, I lubricate it and again this is getting bigger you know and uh this is pretty much the way it is you know it's a, a certain ceramic you know material you know it's it's not bad it's not hurt whatsoever it doesn't have you know um any bumps or something like that it's very smooth as you can see um you know but these are the dots that you reach you still be first second third and then you go slowly you know don't push yourself don't hurt yourself because you know like the doctor said you know you have to start slow it's like a relationship you start off slow but with this um since you have the the operation the vaginoplasty you know you always want to do things nice and slow and uh, make sure that the opening is okay for you and then once i'm done with this i take a douche and i fill it up with nice hot water a warm water hot water with a little bit of vinegar and then i just pump it you know the force of the water it, it brings everything down you know like i use this one here you know it doesn't, it doesn't have to be you know um a different lube it can be any kind of lube as long as it works you know so i hear somebody already coming up through there i know definitely who that is this right other part i try to sneak his butt up here so anyway another thing is that when you are doing this kind of um um dilating you want to make sure that you don't have any other animals whatsoever like see that one right there he's trying to climb up here so the reason i say that is because you don't want to have any his hairs going into this area because it's very private so i try to keep animals away from my things here so i'm able to do my um my dilating and all that you know so you want to make sure that you when you do this keep them away from this area because it's very personal uh you don't want to keep you know having those hairs and all that so right now i'm about to switch and, and i can take them off so you know this is kind of cool what i do i'm gonna put the camera sideways and i take out the next size um then what i do is i a little bit, like I said, you know, make sure you put plenty of lube because it's going in there. Let's see, and close it. Everybody has a preference of how they do this, you know, every transgender. So, um, you know, you want to make sure you want a little bit as much as you can so you don't hurt yourself because there might be less like, dry spots. And I mean, towel always I have a towel underneath myself and pad. And again, when I take out the other one, oh, I swap the other one in there. Oh, so you're gonna have your own out, and what I do is I, I swivel it a little bit, and I'll have to pause later so I can get it right to where I want it, to where the dot is at. And then I clean this one with wipes, you know, and then when I'm done, I'll take it to the uh, uh, to the sink, and I'll clean it properly. You know, since I'm up here, I can't really do that, but I use my um, wipes at the moment. So as you can see, it's already gone far enough, pretty much, since the other one went about four to five. Uh, the next one did go almost about there, but now the width changes. It's because the width is it's much wider, and that is because... Uh, you need to keep the opening uh, open, you know, um, it's just part of the way it is, you know, when you're doing the vaginoplasty, you cannot have it closed, you know, it does need to stay open, um, you know, again, it's like an earring, and if you close it, you know, then it's closed, and then it's going to be hard for it to open, so the best way to do it is just keep the earring in there, and then, you know, play with it, so it can stay open, just like these, you know, so you do these, like, once a week, you know, it depends on your surgery, how long you've done it for, um, those who are fresh to this, um, welcome aboard, <laughs> and, you know, you have to be doing this, like, twice a day, or three times a day, and then, uh, once you graduate to the year, then you do it, you know, um, twice a week or once a week and then you know you move on like so everybody you know uh, it's different again this is only for educational purposes uh for those transgenders that you know um are having difficulties you know opening up you know to the real world and to other transgenders well you're not alone you know you are here you know with us and we're like a family and you know we share our comments you know and you know any ideas or anything that you want to text or email you know i'm more than open you know to hear you know your conversations and we can uh, chat with each other. So I'm gonna take a pause. I'll, I'll be able to fix this in there. Make sure I can check the level, and then I'll be back. Okay, we're back again. Uh, I just want to make sure I position this correctly, so I'm able to reach towards the almost the last dot. <clears throat> and like I said, I'm taking this out so you can see it. This is the first one they gave you, because I have um, a pack. This little suitcase they gave me, and they're almost about similar. You know, so this is supposed to be like um, a centimeter different than this one, but I see almost about the same. You know, so you know they do have. It is the same height. The width is a little bit different, but you know it's almost about the same. So 
I always start off with the orange one because I mean the orange is the eye. The purple one. <laughs> because it's the blue one is the first one I gave you, which is you know the first level. And so because I already done that one already. Um and it's it's almost about the same size. So I use this one and then now the one that I have um that actually passed is actually the one I have inside already. Um which I will be taking that one out shortly. And then I what I do is um again um to uh, expedite a little bit the process, um I lubricate the last one, which is actually you know the ones I, I always do. Uh this is actually the last one. It, as you can see, uh the diameter is a little bit more different, it's a little bit more lighter wider and wider and the same height you know and then again you know these are the, the balls uh, you can see you can see, it. You can see the uh you got five levels you got yeah, you got five levels so um you reach where is it okay there it is you get your levels where you start off and it has a little grip thing here so you really grip it on your fingers and then you know vice versa you know your thumb and then your fingers and then you know you just like you slip it in there so what I do is uh, I go to the last one, and the same procedure, you know, I make sure I just lubricate it enough so it doesn't hurt me when it goes in there. And I already passed more than 15, 20 minutes, and I just, you know, lubricate it. And make sure I get the tip as much as possible, because that's actually the one that's going to slip inside there. It's easy to see that. Not you, because you're not going to do this. <laughs> don't be coming to the baby. If you don't have to, it's the gay. <laughs> it's the gay. It's the gay. <laughs> okay, so I actually lubricate to where actually the, the last balls are at. So it's easy for me to swap out, and then again, I keep always the towel underneath me, like a pad, and I begin the process. I, I remove the other one. Ooh, eek. And then I slip in the other one. I don't understand the opening stage, almost about the same. <laughs> uh, again, like I said, this width is a little bit, it's like a medium, and that one is actually a larger one, so I won't be able to finish up all the levels of the balls itself. Don't touch that. Um, so, um, once at least, you know, that's already in the halfway, at least, um, I can close my legs and then I can um, continue the process. So what I do right now, I just leave it in there for a little bit, um, while I wipe and clean this out. And then when I'm done, I take it to the sink and I just clean it with hot, hot, hot water. And then later, you can take all of them and put them into um, a hot pan and clean it, sterilize it correctly. And then it's ready again for the next use. So that's what I do at the end of my, um, um, my, my thing here. So I take the, the wipes and I just make sure I take off all the um, gel out. That's what I do. I don't have an idea. Those who don't know. And then I wing it with some air. Oh, I, I, I heard it. I heard I heard the junior. <laughs> and get some grab a little bit. And then I use another wipe. Make sure I get all the excess gel over it. The loop. And then go as much as possible around it. Put this aside. And just wing it to so dry up. And then meantime, just wait until the 20, 30, 20, uh, 15, 20 minutes are up. Which is the last one because, like I said, that's the opening, so it doesn't close on you. So you know you're able to urinate and you know touche, and that's it. And if you have a partner, then they'll be able to help you out as well. And if not, then I think it's better to stay that way. <laughs> so, okay, so now I think the 20, 25 minutes are up. I count it. I left it a little bit more longer, um, so the opening can stay there longer. Um, so I take this one out, which is actually the last last one. As you can see, it has like a little dip, you know, like a G. They would call it a G spot. So it goes to the inside, just about like that. It goes like um those who don't know what the vaginoplasty is, it's um actually basically an inverted penis. Um, you know, they they cut and snip your penis and then they invert it into a vagina and it's pretty much almost like that. Um or I'm probably saying it wrong. But you know, now you have your own vagina and your own little clitoris, and then you do need these little levels. Um you can probably see um you hold this on the side like this. You have these instruments um, that they give you. You know, you start with the smallest one, the blue, then the purple one here, and then the orange, no, the green one. You know, each one has a different level, it's like a thickness. And this is the last one, pretty much. So what I've done was I, I went through all the process already from um, from the beginning, and I did leave it from 15 to 20 minutes, 25, it depends. And if you have like a little uh, video, you can watch any time that's you know, being done, the process is going on. Um, I just have to set these wipes. You know, it's always good to have that here and you know you wipe it and then once you're done you finish the process and then you can go douche and clean up you know in the uh, CR which I call the comfort room and that's it so now when I finish up now you get to see you know the end of the process and that's it and I don't have a little companion here but make sure that he does not or she does not go around the area because these things are very uh, delicate very fragile meaning that if any of the hairs go inside then you will catch an infection so you want to make sure that you keep them away from the area that you're actually working with you know so you have that um Going in and out, you know, smoothly without having any of the hairs and things like that. So now that I cleaned it, you know, I just wink it like this to make sure that you know it dries up a little bit. And once I'm done later on, you know, during my day, um, after I finish the video, then I would you know sterilize it correctly. And that's it. Um, so I'll use it a little bit. 
Hello, I'm back. Okay, so um, now that I finished the process um, from uh, my levels, my four levels, I come to the CR, like I said, I call it a comfort room, um, and I get this. I fill it up with hot water, you know, um, like this, so you can know what this is. So, um, I fill it up with hot water, okay, and then I close the cup. Some people put vinegar, some people put water, and I just take it, you know, and I put it straight up there, uh, since it's still lubricated, and then I go as far as I can, a little bit, and then just like flush it out. So everything comes out, basically, and then I repeat the process again, and because it stays like that, I take the one and I fill it up again, okay, I do it like two or three times to make sure that I get everything out, you can either stand up, or you can sit down, and you can see my, my bicep, because like I said, I still work out, I go to the gym, I, go my, I have my own gym here, so, ah, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just like, Comes out, flushing out completely, and then you do it again. You know, uh, I like to do it, like I said, two or three times. It was probably before because you know, there is a lot of gel, um, you know, loop that actually goes up there because you're actually lubricating, you know, the device, and you want to make sure they get everything, everything out, you know. And like I said, this video is only for educational purposes, but uh, for a lot of for all the transgender out there in the world that um, are having difficulties trying to open up, well, I am opening up, and you know, so you already know how the process is. Again, uh, then what I do is I have my little cup here ready, and hot water, you know, as much as you can, and just fill it up to where the room is at, and just flush. That's all. Just clean. I do the same thing a couple of times to make sure you have all the excess of uh, gel out of the area and it stays nice and clean I guess I'm not trying to be a bad person <laughs> I just, you know, um, being very educational here for uh, a lot of transgenders and not having problems opening up uh, after inserting the, uh, the device for dilation and just hope that it actually uh, gets some more of an opening hope, you know, to open up and be able to understand that uh, they're not alone and, you know, uh, I am here to open up and, you know, at least they have an, an understanding of how it is, uh, it's not that easy for transgender to open up and do these kind of things because a lot of people are very close, they don't like to share um, what it is, their personal information and things like that, they want to keep it very sacred, you know, quiet. Well, I open up and it took me a good two years to open up, you know, I've done it two years ago, so I've done um, three operations, which was, my first one was my vaginoplasty, my second was my breast augmentation, and my third was my trachea shape, which is, they call it, um, oh my god, I just went fog, bring fog. <laughs> Um, it's a tricky shave. Uh, oh, wait, there's another word for that. I am so sorry. I apologize. Um, but it's a tricky shave. And, um, you know, they, they put a web over it. Oh, I just got it. It's not, I don't believe that. It's called glottoplasty. Oh my god, how dumb am I? I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's called glottoplasty. Um, the uh, tricky shave is also another terminology, but it's basically, um, a glottoplasty is more professional, and a lot of surgeons know what you really want. So, uh, they, they shave, which is called the Adam's apple, off. They cut a little bit off so it doesn't look like a, like a hump. And then second, they hit, they throw it with a the web, they web it on the, on the voice box. They close it up a little bit. And then it gives you that feminine kind of voice thing that you hear now. Uh, I'm still practicing because it, it, it's very hard for me to practice. But I'm still every single day, you know, I'm doing my very best and things like that. So, uh, yeah, so pretty much um, I'm glad that you uh, like the video. And I know this is not the perfect spot to be doing a video. <laughs> but it's just letting you know how the process actually is. So I'm really happy that um, you enjoyed the video. And uh, that this video was very helpful. And again, I am very sorry. I am very nervous doing these kind of videos because it's kind of personal thing. But um, I have a lot of courage. I don't think I have to take some courage. I just have a lot of courage like this. Because I want to be open to what people are transgenders and I want to be open and, and face up, you know, the world, you know, like I said, you only live once. You know, I am, I was very afraid at one time, but I said, you know, wait a minute, um, I'm going to live once. I mean, so, <laughs> it's okay, you know, and, and here I am, okay? So, I love you all, take care, and I'll see you next on my next video. Okay, bye-bye. This is Asia for you. Hello, I'm back. <laughs> Alright, so I was closing up the video, um, but I decided just to, um, Make sure I give like, a little intel. Um, like I said, the video that I've I've done, um, that I just finished doing, is actually for educational purposes. I just want to make sure that that is clear, because a lot of people like to say they see the video, and the first thing they do they flag the video and things like that. And like I said, uh, this is only for transgenders who are having trouble actually opening up. 
uh, to the world and actually having uh, their dilations and things like that and they want to have other techniques how to do the dilations well this is my way of doing my uh, dilation so you know um, like I said every transgender doesn't very you know totally different and like I said um, it's only for educational purposes I always say that because I just want to make sure that they know uh, so you know that's it so um i see you guys in my next video i look at my hair flying in the back uh, i have the heater on uh because uh it's actually cold if you can probably see it's actually 2 51 in the morning and i'm still up um but other places they're actually in the afternoon like japan and uh, in the philippines I look at my hair <laughs> so anyway um and they have this little uh, Lion King here that keeps me busy at night. So um, I decided to do that one because I gotten different requests from a lot of people. You know, from my friend Albert, he's one of my followers, and uh, Marlene, and um, Jen May, and I got other people here. And this is this like the list just goes on and on and on. So uh, it's just you know other people that. They watch my videos and they share it and you know um they give it to other people so they asked me why don't i just do a video um dilation you know since i've done my other surgeries and that will be posting also my other surgeries as well for uh the breast implantation and some pictures of the um glottoplasty the one i have done um i didn't do too much of it it's just like some but, you know, at least some is better than nothing, at least. So, okay. I love you guys. Bye. Take care. And thank you for watching my video. <laughs>